Hi, this is Michael with Malpac. Thanks for watching today. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you um, taking a, removing an electronic choke from a 34 pick Volkswagen air cooled carburetor and putting it back on and um, kind of moving things around and showing you the carburetor. Just kind of an info session. Um, hopefully, uh, you'll learn something from it and uh, don't forget to like and comment below. And then also um, subscribe to my channel and I look forward to seeing you in my next videos. So this is a 34-pick uh, carburetor and that's where the, the choke goes. And I'm just showing you what happens when you move that lever back and forth. Opens the butterfly, opens and closes it, which in turn allows more air to pass through the carburetor barrel. And here's the choke and it has like a spring that heats up and then um, functions properly. So when the choke's on, the butterfly in the carburetor channel um, closes or stays closed more so than when it's warm. And as the engine heats up and the carburetor heats up, the butterfly gradually opens, like you can see here. Um, so when it's cold, it closes. And when it gets hotter and gets warmed up, it's fully opened or you know, depending on what you want to do with your carburetor. And here's the, uh, I guess, it's almost like a washer, but um, there's three screws that connect this um, piece that keeps the carb the choke from turning. Um, I've lost one of my little plastic pieces, spacers, so I'm just putting that screw in there to hold everything. Usually I do that no matter what. And then there's a screw in the spacer, and I put the spacer in between the carburetor and the, um, the piece of metal that holds the choke in place, like so. And then I screw in the screw into the carburetor, and as I screw it in, it will tighten, and then the choke won't be able to move anymore. And this is just kind of outside of the car. The car. Uh, when it's inside the car and you have it running, you're going to adjust your choke accordingly to how you want your um, car to run. And depending on where you're located, the coldness and everything like that will dictate how your car is going to be running. And there you go. That's um, what it looks like all together. Let's just tighten up the screws here. And that is how you install an uh, electronic choke on a 34 pick carburetor, which is uh, this one's for an air cooled uh, Volkswagen engine. Just going through real, one more time, tightening everything up. And there you go, there's the carburetor. Look for uh, other videos. Um, I'm going to be doing a video where I completely disassemble a carburetor and put it all back together. Uh, that's going to be in the works in the next couple weeks. Um, Feel free to like and then comment below and please subscribe to my channel. There's a lot more Volkswagen uh, videos coming up down the pipeline. And then as I rebuild my car, my uh, carburetor and then also rebuild my engines, I'm going to be posting those as well. Uh, thanks so much and please view my other videos. Uh, recently I have a couple different engine builds I have on there and then this is uh, the carburetor that um well this this one's new it hasn't been rebuilt thanks so much and have a great day